Monday. And then we said, uh, who can he, he came out with a meeting. He says, who can be a goalkeeper? Mm -hmm. Who can? So I said, I always loved it. So I said, I, I can do it also. Mm -hmm. Shota, we, we have asked you uh, about the top 11 players you've played with. Uh, you played for Ajax and AZ in the Netherlands, of course. But you also uh, played for many foreign teams. And you've played 61 international matches for Georgia. Yes. Uh, so there are enough players to choose. Uh, let's start with the goalkeeper. Uh, who did you pick? Look, uh, absolutely no doubt that uh, that uh, I played with really great goalkeepers. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think in general, if I look, Edwin was the best one. Mm -hmm. Not many people will argue. Uh, and uh, I think he's the number one uh, in the list. Edwin van der Sar also scored one time a goal uh, against uh, the Graafschap. I played that game. I yeah. played that game. I think in that year we had a run like everyone scored mm -hmm. except him. So I think I scored three goals on that game. Uh -huh. And then uh, I don't know the, which one he scored, number eight or number seven, but it was a penalty and uh, we we call him and he did great. Uh, uh, he was one of the one of the player who who started to be like a goalkeeper football player. Uh -huh. Now that's normal that the goalkeepers are that good to be the feet. And yeah. It was always, always uh, like a special one that. We move on to the left back position. Uh, you know, it's so much good players I played with. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so difficult to put the four defenders because uh, I'm front. Uh, you have to try to put like a 3 5 2, which is not my favorite system. It's 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 quite hard like mm -hmm. to to make a choice. Mm -hmm. I would I would go for for like Chivu, Frank de Boer, and Danny Blind. Like normally we do four, and Frank was always like a coming, and then he was yeah. coming out. Like I cannot put this in eleven. It's uh -huh. so difficult. Uh -huh. I understand. I understand. So probably this uh, nobody puts three left uh, three left uh, fitted players in uh -huh. the back four. <laughs> but I have to do it. <laughs> Your teammates uh, by Ajax, they, they called you a Mr. Beam. What do you think about that? I was nice. Uh, Martijn Rosa, I think the first I heard from him that he was a good boy who, who could uh, make uh, nice jokes. Mm -hmm. And I heard first from him. Mm -hmm. I was uh, like a normal, so we all laugh and... Uh, And the second, the second nickname also in Ajax was the Showtime. Yes. Which, uh, which I like it more because it was a little bit close to my own name. Mm -hmm. But the rest, uh, I never mind. I even had a, had a nice, uh, nice photos with a small, uh, this, I don't know how the car called. It's like a really mini, mini car. Mm -hmm. He plays one role, I think, in, in, in the movie, this Mr. B. And oh, I yeah. even have photos with I, I sit in the car and uh, <laughs> somebody. It was a story about. So uh, I, I like it. So uh, world class defenders. Let's move on to the midfield. Then you have a Michael Arteta in the middle, which is like a holding midfielder who could like uh, trust him every time ball. Mm -hmm. He could come out uh, very very. Um, smartly uh, under pressure or to start the game, mm -hmm. start attack or, or always finding uh, the good position to play mm -hmm. in this even young stage uh, when the Rangers you could see like the potential he had. Uh, there was like uh, the George King Classic which I love to play to always uh, from my the childhood and we, we played like the uh, longest, longest uh, together many many goals mm -hmm. uh, I have, uh, mm -hmm. almost 400 goals in my career and uh, George was like uh, assisting me uh, even in the empty goal sometimes he was giving to me to play yeah. to score to have a last touch he was phenomenal uh, the phenomenal one of the phenomenal talent talent mm -hmm. I met all right who is your left midfielder uh, I was uh, Michael Laudrup mm -hmm. he was phenomenal Michael Laudrup was uh, the, the Like a genius uh, played in that, that, that period. I think uh, we all really 
glad that mm. he chose that time uh, Ajax and he came uh, to play very short, of course, only one season, mm -hmm. but uh, absolutely showing uh, his personality, great uh, character, great person, mm -hmm. gentleman, and, uh, and plus his quality, right? Unbelievable. And who's the right midfielder? And it's absolutely Ronald De Boer. Ronald uh, was uh, twice my teammate uh, with Ray Ajax and with uh, with Rangers. Mm -hmm. the, the 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 best I I would make a, like a whole team like the 16, mm -hmm. 17 players. Mm -hmm. This team can uh, keep a ninety five percent more, so you don't need a goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah. But it's, <laughs> because it's Edwin. Uh, so he, he can play. He can play every position there. So yeah, I'll put yeah. him also. Then you had the Yari Litman. Uh, Yari is one of that uh, always in the right position, always uh, in the right time. Yes, about uh, Yari Litman. Of course, you choose him. A phenomenal player. You became champion with him. Uh, you became champion with Ajax. But there was a moment with another club in your career, uh, AZ. But you guys couldn't get it done against Excelsior. Was this the most frustrating day of your career? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It was like a drama, absolutely drama. We, we, I don't know why. Just before we go out, mm -hmm. the strange that also that day was so hot, hardly in Holland, so so sunny day, mm -hmm. like 30 degrees or something. We we heard the whistle that we have to go out of the dressing room. I said, listen, boys. So wherever the score goes, we don't get the red card. So mm -hmm. with eleven men, we will we will win this game. Mm -hmm. So uh, just be careful. Don't make like a stupid foul. So like don't talk to referee. Mm -hmm. So I was the captain, and I don't know why I dropped this out of my mouth. So mm -hmm. and in in in, in twelve minutes uh, we get the red card. We stay with ten men. We made twice game even, and uh, suddenly we lost. So. I was 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 absolutely shocking, yes. but we made some short mm -hmm. story there, which uh, helped AZ as a club, mm -hmm. and I think Dutch football also. We had a great story. I have yeah. to tell. We were running well, five six points ahead or mm -hmm. something like that, and uh, all goalkeepers so first team get injured. So we we start uh, Monday with no goalkeepers. So normally you organize the session, you call second team and say, listen, we are missing goalkeepers, I need two goalkeepers. They say, mm -hmm. well, uh, we have uh, injuries. Both, they say, uh, second team, both goalkeepers also injured. And then you go A1. And you call A1 and they say, listen, uh, we need the goalkeepers, first yeah. team, for the, at least for the sessions. You yes. know, you have to shoot in the goal. They say that the both goalkeepers also are uh, injured. Wow. So it was like unbelievable. So we have to play Excelsior, if I'm not wrong, mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. So it's Monday. And then we said, uh, who can he, he came out with a meeting. He says, who can be a goalkeeper? Mm -hmm. Who can? So I said, I always loved it. So I said, I, I can do it also. Mm -hmm. ah, he says, no, no, uh, not you. <laughs> I said, well, I, I can do it. And then they start shooting, but... Steinson was really like a strong boy, tall. Yeah. He was start shooting like to face and of course you turn and it's yeah. not usual. Yeah. So this finally I was out and mm -hmm. Steinson stay and the whole week he trained as a goalkeeper, things was getting well and uh, I said to Louis, listen Louis, he said, Forget we we play without goalkeeper. He says you're crazy, Shota. I said, No, just imagine uh -huh. that tomorrow yeah, okay, we, we're going to beat uh, Excelsior. Nobody will write anything about us. Uh -huh. so. But imagine that we come out uh -huh. in the game, and can you imagine the concentration as we all would have? So, uh, please, Louis, we have to do it tomorrow. <laughs> Everybody will talk about us. I, I know he wanted, but... You know, he's always like it correct. He says, uh, this not uh, respect to the opponent. So uh, he was almost, and every day I said, come on, come on, we <laughs> have to do it, we have to do it. <laughs> End of the day, uh, so the one boy from the second team get, get fit, uh, he put, we put him in the goal. We won 5-0 this game, uh -huh. and first shot out of target. Target was in... 68 minutes. 
<laughs> Excelsior first shot, yeah. not even in target, uh -huh, was uh -huh. 68 minutes. Like we destroyed the team. Mm -hmm. It was only when one time chance to do that, but yeah. uh, we could not manage. What a story. Uh, Let's move on uh, to the forward. Yeah. So first, uh, your left winger. Who is on the left winger position? And Zlatan Ibrahimovic, yeah. if you look uh, the way uh, it is. He uh, was very young, but you could already see like uh, the level of uh, Zlatan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, of course, character, the way he walked, but also the way he touched the ball. Mm -hmm. Then you have uh, right side Brian, which was a uh, little bit lesser than his brother, mm -hmm. but also like... Uh, the great uh, player could manage uh, everything with the ball. Very smart. Yeah, it's so difficult to choose. Uh, I understand. I understand. Know, everybody would wish to play that team. I guess. Yeah, I think also. <laughs> Thank you very much. 